Hi, today's episode is brought to you by the 2010 Glazer Kenny Marketing and Money Making Super Conference. Hi, on today's episode, you'll be hearing from Diane Conklin when she's on the hot seat. You'll be hearing about outrageous postcards that produce outrageous results and an answer to a marketing question from a Glazer Kennedy Facebook fan. Welcome to No BS Live, the place for prosperity without the bull. At our most recent Peak Performer meeting, I had the opportunity to sit down with Peak Performer member Diane Conklin. Diane is a marketing and business strategist with her company that's called Complete Marketing Systems and is also known as the go-to person for event planning in the info marketing world. Here's what she had to say. Roll the tape. Okay, now I'm with Peak Performer Plus member Diane Conklin who is with Complete Marketing Systems and Diane is a four-year Peak Performer member, so it's been four years that I've been seeing Diane at least three times a year, actually more because I see it at all the Glazer yep. Kenny events and all the other stuff we do. You cannot get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and we don't want to. Um, the, um, the one thing I asked Diane about, I want to ask you about, is I know you help a lot of people putting on events in their businesses. Um, and take a lot of roles in that, including the event coordinator and other things, even helping them with the marketing of their events, et cetera. And um, a lot of people, they look at the Glazer Kenny events, they see the thousand people that we have in the room, and they, see, and they, and they multiply a thousand times, you know, whatever people are paying to be there, and they're saying, the, this is easy peasy, I'm going to make a whole lot of money doing this thing. And, um, and then uh, other people try it, and they struggle with it. And I'd like you to, to sort of talk about what are some of the, like, the reasons people struggle? What are some of the fatal flaws, mistakes that people are making in trying to put on their own event? Well, the big one that you always talk about is the, the number one is they underestimate the task and, and, and really the task of marketing, which is what we talk so much about. Um, they don't understand that, yeah, it looks, it looks easy, and, but there's so many moving parts behind the scenes. But to stick with the marketing for a minute, you know, it used to be, not too long ago even, you could send out three or four emails and put 200 people in a room. Um, things have changed. You can't do that anymore. I mean, even in the pick and niche that it was easy and w which real estate comes to mind. Um, you can't do that anymore. And so people don't understand that it takes four to six months. Six months is my preference <laughs> or a longer. I mean, you guys have a year marketing cycle um, to really put people in. And they don't understand that you really have to do what, what we call integrated marketing. You have to do direct mail. You have to do internet. You have to do some joint ventures. You have to do some teleseminars. You can't just use, you can't be one dimensional. And if you try to be one dimensional, that's when people say, well, this didn't work. You know, I have 10 people signed up and I'm two weeks away. Well, that's because you didn't, you didn't do all the things necessary. That's probably the big thing. Then once you get, if, you, if you're lucky enough and you're, you work hard enough to now put the butts in seats and you get there, so many people say, oh, I'll run the event. I know how to run the event when I get there. Well, just the interaction with the hotel that you have to have once you get to the hotel to start your event. You can't, be, if there's an issue with the room temperature or you know the food isn't here when it's supposed to be here or there's a lighting issue or whatever it is, if you're on stage speaking and you have nobody running your event, now what do you do? You can't get down off the platform in the middle of your presentation. So you really, it, there's so many things involved and so many things that people just don't know about. I mean, we could spend an hour talking about the negotiation with the hotel before you get to that point. So there's just so many moving parts to it. And when you walk into the room from the front, if you don't now look at that backside of what's going on behind the scenes, it really is, uh, you know, there's a, there's a camouflage there. 
Yeah, I know. So we've been putting on events for well over 10 years, and and um, and I, if I look back at the original events I put on versus the ones we put on today, and how we've evolved my own company in doing it, and and as you know, I mean, listen, when we show up on an event, we show up with an army of people that we have to all the moving parts that we have to uh, sort of make make sure they are still moving. But uh, so. You know, if somebody asks me, and, I'll, and I'll, I'm going to answer my own question, but I'm going to first ask you the question. If somebody asks me, like, you know, like if I had to do one thing, one thing to, like, move towards putting on my own live event, if I had there's one key component, I know what I would say. I'm, I'm curious to think about, like, what you would say as the answer to that question. I know I'm putting you on the spot, but as you know me now for a long time, I'm good at putting people on the spot. So I would go back to what I said a minute ago. It's it's putting the butts in the seats. It's it's the marketing. It's having it's having a plan, and this is gonna sound like I'm contradicting myself. It's having a plan done ahead of time so that before you drop the first piece, before you think about where we're gonna do this or what city or any of those things, it's having that marketing plan in place so that you know the plan is I've got 10 direct mail pieces and I have you know 17 steps in my email system and I have 14 follow-ups and this many stick programs and this many ho things that we're going to do to sell hotel rooms so that plan is in place now you have to remain flexible because things are going to change this worked, this didn't let's try this again let's add to that so you have to remain flexible in that plan but it's it's the stuff that you do ahead of time it's it's having that marketing in place and then following through continuing to follow through and follow up on those things yeah and i'm a huge believer in that and i'm actually going to add to that i'm going to actually take a step backwards from that and i'm going to say that even before the plans in place the thing that makes the job of, of filling a seminar infinitely easier is having a, a, a list of people that you have a relationship with. And you know, a lot of people, again, they look at Glazer Kennedy events and they say, gee, you put a thousand people in the seats, how do you do that, Bill? Well, we have a lot of members who we communicate with multiple times a month and, and they, they know us, they trust us, they see the value that we give them, and that really helps a whole lot. So when you combine those two, is you have relationship with people and you have a, an exact plan in place, you will have a winning event. Um, we're out of time, and, and <laughs> Diane and I could talk about events all day, we all, off camera, we usually do. But uh, thank you very much for taking some time from the peak meeting, and we're gonna put Diane's website up right below us right now, and uh, we, um, if you want to seek out Diane, she's terrific to work with. She works with many of the big members in helping them put on their events. Thanks. Thanks, Bill.